Hey guys, I finally finished the cabinet, the drawer, and all the electrical stuff. Uh, this is it, man. So everything runs off of this master power switch, which turns to the right. That turns these on. And then my interior lights, and they're all labeled. So this is my interior, my left lights, my front lights, my right lights, and that little truck with the rear light is a rear light. And these are the rock lights my water pump and my heater I don't know if you can hear that but it just turned on anyways so here's the interior lights and we have lighting inside as well and on the bottom portion where all the electrical stuff is connected to the batteries so there's that I also have my drawer that I finally put into the cabinet space. So I have a ton of extra fuses, manuals for the inverter, my heater, the uh, charge controller, and my notebook from that shows basically everything that all the wires I've ever done are uh, installed into this trailer. So in case I ever forget, I have a color code. Oh yeah, and. These are the heater tubes, the heater ducting for my heater, so they'll connect into these. And eventually, I'm gonna have two of these kayak uh, deck plates, and I'm gonna have them mounted onto the door here. One and two. And it's basically it's gonna have one blowing in the hot air into the CVT rooftop tent and the other one's gonna be sucking out the air in return. This way the thermostat could properly work. <clears throat> Anyways, next. So just check out the lights here. So this is the left lights. And the front lights. And the right light. And then my rear light over there. And you'll see the rock lights turn on in a bit. Boom. So, this is the trailer from like far out. Let's see, this is a good 25 feet away right now. Maybe 20. You can see how bright it is. I mean, it's gonna definitely light up the campground for when we arrive late at night. Um, I mean, there's my car over there, and it's a uh, it's like a good 30 feet away. So, and that's just from one single off-road off light there. Same thing on this side over here. There's only one on this side because the tent is gonna open up on this side. So I only put one. But as far as all the camp stuff and the uh, the uh, um, the grill and everything else, everything is gonna be on this side here. So this is why I needed all these extra lights. Uh, here's a neat thing. Oh wait a minute. So there's our lights for the rear. But over here, I have this little cool switch here for the interior. So, and this produces a ton of light inside. I really don't even need one, but there, I just put one in there just so I could uh, organize in here in the middle of the night if I had to. So, turn that off. The rock lights actually only have two. One in the front and one in the rear. There's my tank. So the way I ran everything is uh, this switch here um, has positive and negatives that turn basically for all the lights that turn on and off. Um, and I ran a power wire to this as well. So everything, the, fuse, uh, the fuses for every single thing that is routed, so like all those lights, the heater and the water pump, 
everything is ran through fuses. I didn't want to have any, I didn't want to take any chances of things uh, causing a short. So this is directly controlled by this. And this is also controlled well, in here. So if this turns off, then everything will turn off. Um, and I did that, that purposely so no power will be used when it's not being used. Um, what else? What else? So everything is labeled. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way, whatever. There's uh, eight switches here. So one would be one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. So the, each relay it has its own label for each uh, switch. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then after I have this remote switch, that turns my power inverter on and off. So like here, it's on. And let's see if it, let's see what I can do here. So there's my power inverter. And it runs through a remote switch here, which is, it kind of looks like a telephone wire. It goes in through there. So even though this is constantly on here, without that switch being turned on in the front uh, or on the other side of the trailer, this will turn off. It has to be used with that remote. Um, and then obviously, even though my exterior lighting is all LEDs, um, it will consume some power because they are really bright. So I also have two of these, which is let's see, 21 feet. So 42 feet worth of these little tiny LEDs, it produces pretty good light, very low power consumption. Um, yeah, and it's, you know, it's really long. I, I route this on the canopy and then I lead it to the outdoor shower restroom that I have. So it's plenty of light. Um, yeah, let's see, what else can I share with you guys? Um, I think I got everything, man. This is, uh, this was bought off of Amazon. I had a lot of people asking me about these. So, you know, just your average, um, 12 volt charger. I have two USB ports here. Um, well, I have a cigarette lighter if I needed it, but I don't use smoke, so, but this could be used for a USB charger as well, so that's cool. Or if I'm need, if I need something to burn, well, I guess I could use this. So, whatever. Yeah. So currently, it shows my voltage is 2.5 on this one. I'm actually going to be going off of this one the majority of the time because this is directly connected to my batteries and my solar panel. So, yeah. And that's it. Turn this back off. Uh, so other people were asking me about my uh, my water pump. This is a SureFlow uh, water pump. It's a, it's a one gallon per minute. And I have it attached to my, well, I, I run it paired to my EcoTemp shower. There it is. It works almost immediately, uh, instantly. Um, you know, there's nothing like being in the desert or anywhere after a long day of off-roading and uh, having a nice, nice hot shower in the middle of the night. It's really cool. So, I'm the MV of my campground. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's it, guys. Let me know if you guys have any questions.